So here to solve the Sudoku I wrote called 2 by 3 by 4. I like this geometry and was playing with it in some different ways, at least behind some open columns, but also gave some opportunities like what I used for my starting digits, where I've got a set of numbers that point into and eliminate a lot from this upper right box. So we've got four, seven left to go, but there are already two fours in the space. Um, down in the bottom, the same kind of thinking actually places a, a one note, places another one note. Um, Having marked this 4, 7 in the top, we have 1, 8, 9 left over, a 1's not in this cell, or 8's not in that cell. But this 9 and this 9 here put another 9 note up top, and before we actually finish the top, we have two 6's here. And that the 6 can't go there, so 6 must be in the cell, a 9 must be in the cell. It actually means an 8 is uh, in one of these. Uh, this 3 in this column now actually means a 3 is in one of these cells, so 3 is in one of these cells. We're getting some good progress there. Uh, we're going to have actually that a 2 is in one of these cells. Uh, next are of easy digits. Two threes give another 3. Force a 3 in one of these cells. Uh, down in the bottom we've got two spots for a 4. Two spots for a 7. The 7 then come points to add over here. So this is the last spot for a 7 in this row. Uh, puts a 7 up top. And this 7 is going to actually, there's also a 7 in one of these four cells. So I'm seeing an opportunity where in the 6th row, the only spot for a 7 will have to be down in one of these cells. And up top, we can also mark a 7-0 this time. Uh, we didn't put it in, but this is the last space for an 8 up top. And so we're starting to get a fair amount of the digits uh, in this space. We were missing 2, 5, 9 in this upper left box. And... Just looking at 5 and 2, they both see the cell, so my guess is this is a naked single. And looking at all the digits, everything but 9 is seen by the cell, so that's right. They input in this 9. Um, that's not immediately going to do too much. This actually looks to be the last space for 9 in this row. But actually, I probably have some more I can do. I've got a 9 over here. Don't have more here, but let me actually look at this box that I haven't done as much with. I've got two twos with another 2, so this is a force 2. This is a 4, 6. So now just like the top left corner is getting pretty full, this box now is missing 5 and 9. And actually this cell is then the one I look to for a naked single. 5 sees this cell, so 5 is in one of these. And so this must be 9. That actually means this will be 9. Uh, we still have a fact an 8 is going to be in one of these cells. Uh, this one coming across means a 1 in one of these cells, 1 in one of these cells. This one is a pointing pair, means a one will be here. So this fifth and sixth row already have a one in them. So that's going to put a one here. And I haven't done looked at this back at this yet, but this nine here actually eliminates the one of the last options. So eight is a single in that cell. We get a one nine pair. Puts an eight here. So some good headway. We have one more place that looks like there's a potential, actually two places it looks like there's a potential hidden single. So we did talk about 2-5 being the last options in this box. And so uh, besides looking at this cell, which doesn't see a 2 or a 5 for sure, this cell does see a 2 and a 5. So this is actually a naked single 1 and puts a 1 down here. And I'm seeing if there's anything... More I can do up there, I don't think so, but this box also has a lot marked except for 4, 5, 6, and 4, 5 point from above, so this is a single. Again, 6 is the last option for it. So we get to this stage of the puzzle, which is pretty close to the sticking point, and it has some tension with this 1 in the grid, which we'll come back to soon, but the theme I was thinking about for this puzzle, and it, it some solvers may run into it like an X-Wing, but this is a kind of pattern I, I sometimes spot that's a little easier than X-Wing to at least work with. And it has to do when you get a digit that is effectively forced to be in something like uh, a square like I've marked here. And actually it would be, a, you know, we've got these givens that are blocking it off. But in this case, the digit 2 and the screen box are some key things to think about. So the only spaces for a 2 and this uh, box here are what I've marked in green. Similarly, in this space, this space, this space. And actually the 9 is already taken, so we can eliminate that. What you'll recognize is that in this kind of pattern, these corner cells are always going to be deadly cells to fill in for that given. So if I put, for instance, a 2 in this cell, it's going to eliminate the rest of this bottom row and put a 2 in these two cells, and those cells will cancel all the remaining options for a 2 in this box. So you cannot put a 2 into this puzzle if a 2 is in this corner cell. And that same kind of thinking will actually cancel. This corner will cancel this corner. 
if you're not familiar with this kind of pattern, this was part of what I ran into while constructing the puzzle and really liked. And the reason I liked it, if I come back to Sudoku notes, it means that in these cells we have two notes, and uh, where I had a tension in uh, these cells from a one going into them for sure, so one being in one of these cells for sure, a two now also is in one of these cells for sure. So this is a pair, and it's not an expected pair to find, but it's a pair that you do get by intercepting this weird rule around the twos with the one notes that we already have in the grid. And that means a four is not in the cell, so the, the key step to then work through the grid is these fours eliminate. We have a four in one of these spaces, puts a four here, puts a four in one of these cells, those come up and leave this as the last space for a four in that box. We got fives coming across. Uh, let's see, um, having put in this four note and putting in this four, the four now has to be up top. That means that this is actually where the two must go and we can get all the twos around the grid quite fast. Um, the two pushes over this three and we get a three in one of these cells. We got five, eight left in this box and this can't be a five down below. So eight, it's uh, eight down below, five up top. He's behind the space for a three, eight must be here, seven's pushed over, five's pushed over, five, nine come back down into this space, that means a nine is over here, seven is here, last digit is a three, pushing up a three. Uh, we have a six uh, completing this box. That's uh, now as we come over to the right, we'll just clear some digits out. Um, the six is gonna be in one of these two cells, but if we look the very last place for a three is on the left, so three is here, six is here push the six down here. That means this is last spot for a five, last spot for a four, last spot for a seven. Four pushes one, pushes one. We have eight, five in these boxes. Uh, we actually have five, eight both seeing the cell. So the cell has to be a seven with a five, eight pair uh, going around it. This last option's a one, puts in a one, puts in a nine. Last spot for a nine, puts in this eight, puts in eight, five, puts in five, eight. We have a seven and a five and we finish the puzzle. So. Tricky classic with a less common uh, deduction in the middle, but as I was trying to show, it's about thinking through eliminations of these corner cells, this cell, this cell, and the cell from containing twos. That means a two is in one of these two cells, and we will also, if you've noted the grid and found all the hidden singles, know that a one is in one of those two cells. So you get a, a magic pair that now eliminates the options for other digits and completes the rest of the puzzle. So, Pretty tricky aha, but hopefully you ran into some of the aha or, or maybe even a harder version, which I, I, there is sort of an X-wing pattern off these columns that I think would also let you do some of the same. So hope you enjoyed this video, learned a little bit about how to visualize puzzles uh, like this with some tricky sticking points, and we'll see you again soon.